Good afternoon, brothers and sisters, Sister Mary Luisa. I am curious, I have a question. When the Lord Jesus Christ said to Nathanael, Hereafter you shall see heaven open and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. And I am curious because you said in a Bible study, Sister Mary Luisa, that many people believe that God is up high, very far away, but it isn't so because the Lord is with us and He has His kingdom here. So I have realized that in some testimonies of some brothers and sisters, they have had spiritual experiences where they have seen our Lord Jesus Christ descend from a very tall ladder into the church during a worship service. And I'm curious, where is the Lord? Where does the Lord dwell? In all places. The Lord dwells in all places. God fills all things. God covers the entire universe. The Lord covers it all. Now, I don't know if any brothers or sisters know when a hen has her chickens, her little chicks, when they're newborns, they all come underneath the hen. I don't know if the natives here in Europe have seen this phenomenon of the hen with her little chicks, her little children underneath. Now, I imagine that's how God is. Great, and he is there in all of the universe. Everything that we call universe, all the planets and galaxies, etc., etc., the sun and the moon, all of mankind, everyone is under him. Everyone is under the Lord. He covers all of the universe. So God is so great. So this is why God's essence is in all places. This is why God, and he says that he is going to dwell in our heart, that he is going to be with us and he's going to be close to us. He's going to surround us, that he is there by our right hand side, that he is above on high in the heights. But what are the heights? Well, the heights for us is above. And the earth revolves. And if we also revolve and our heads are down and we look up and it's the heights for us. And so God is in the heights. God has his rank. Now, physically, there is no place where we are able to say God is there because he is in every place. He is in all places. His essence. He is spirit. And it says that in spirit, we ought to honor him, praise him, and acknowledge him. And so God's greatness, he covers all things. He covers everything up until our reasoning and our capacity to be able to understand and comprehend what the universe actually is because there is a certain limit and we can't think beyond that because God has limited us. But so one day, we will understand and comprehend many things, but God is great. And so do not worry about those visions, because in those visions, God shows many things. He shows the heavens as with the biblical people that they saw a vision and a ladder that ascended and that the angels ascended and descended. Well, that is true. Who can doubt that if God is powerful, if God is in all places, if there is nothing impossible for God, how can we doubt that if someone saw God there and someone says that God is here by my side or that God is here in my heart, all of that is possible because there is nothing impossible for God. Is it?